further questions that are degrading, in my opinion, like that. Now, right here, sir. You were paid by the star. Did anyone ever approach you from the Republican Party, perhaps another Democratic candidate, to urge you to tell the story publicly? Yes, they did. Who? I can't. Say. Wait, no, you're saying, wait, are you saying that somebody from another campaign, Democratic Party or Republican Party, approached you to tell the story? Was it the Democratic Party or was it the Republican Party, Ms. Flower? It was the Republican Party. Somebody who's been through a lot of tough elections is uh, James Carville, who's known as the Raging Cajun in the business. And uh, we'd like him to say a couple of words to you. Uh, you have a tough fight coming right down the stretch. It's going to come out that Roger Ailes is behind a lot of this stuff before the election that you've been seeing about Governor Clinton. Okay? Ailes. Boo. It is, cla and of course, Bush and, and, and Georgette Mossberg and everything else. Let me tell you what's at stake in this election. Every time that somebody comes along that's got some ideas, a Democrat comes along, the Republicans come up here and they ambush them. Remember Muskie? Okay? That is standard procedure. And here comes Clinton. He comes to New Hampshire. People here hurting. They want hope. They want somebody with vision. He gives it to them. So what do Republicans do? They get together with their wedge issues and they knock it off. If they succeed this time, it's going to be every time. You are never going to get a presidential candidate. Okay? You're never going to get somebody to come up here and run for president that served 11 years as governor, has got any kind of experience. Okay? And every time somebody comes up, they're going to do it. If we win this, then you have knocked this shit back forever. Okay? Every time that we get a Democrat that we can believe in, Roger Ailes and, 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 and Georgette Mossbogger, you know what she, you know she's the, the secretary of the person closest to Bush. You know what she said? She can't wait till this election's over so she can get her Maserati and her jewels back. That's the mindset that you fight against. And if they beat us back, Paul Songus, look, he ain't gonna win anything. Okay? This is not about Paul Songus. It's about George Bush and Roger Ailes and Georgette Mossbarker and the whole sleazy little cabal of them that want to keep hold of anything and that want to knock anybody off that we believe in and anything that we care about. And if we beat them and you're out there and your knuckles get tired or your feet get cold or anything else, you think about that because if they knock us off, then so what? The next one that comes up, they're going to knock the next one off and the next one and everything else. And you know what the kind of shit you're going to get? You're going to get the kind of Supreme Court that you got. You're going to get the kind of four different positions on civil rights that you get from them. You're going to get tax breaks for the wealthy. You're going to get a guy that doesn't know what a grocery store scanner is and everything else, okay? So let's go. We got, you know, we got six more days to go. And don't forget who the real enemy is in here. And don't forget what we really campaign against. Thank you all very much.